Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to another great edition of AwesomeCallsTrading.com live recap webinar. Um, I just uh, did a nice re uh, little study period for um, the traders in the room, explaining a lot in detail that I don't do in the webinar. I know that you find these webinars extremely um, enjoyable to watch and how I found the trades and I did all these things, and I appreciate that, and it means a lot. Um, but you know, when you're in a when you're in this room, I I, I kind of don't stop, and um, I really want I have so much passion for traders to make money, and make it on. I really and the easiest the easier the trades, easier they can make money. The more money they make, and today we just had a, a barrage of just um, I wasn't you know probably eighty percent today. Probably was more seventy five percent, which is rare for me. But the other twenty um, the other the twenty five percent that I was off a little bit. You know, it, the seventy-five percent made up for the twenty-five percent, and and I'll show you because you're they were just wonderful, wonderful trading vehicles today, and they were all setups that were just thrown at us today, and uh, I can't wait to to show you, and I'm going to start with our number one pick in the room, um, HRTX. All right, HRTX received a, a, a CRL letter from the FDA. And what that is, um, in a basic, you know, format, is that um, hold on, I'm just writing down all my little notes for you. Um, what that is, it's basically kind of like, um, okay, let's just let's put it in terms that you can understand. You do a report for your teacher at school, right, or your professor, and the professor says, "I'll tell you what, right now this is a C, right, which is going to hurt your grade, right, on your." overall average right it's gonna hurt you but I'm gonna mark up the areas that you need to fix and if you come back with the report looking the way I want it I'll give you an A and all of a sudden boom everything's fixed you're back to where you were right okay I know it sounds so childish but that's what a CR letter is you have to look at it in layman terms so the first thing that a professional day trader who is in a whole other stratosphere the first thing a CR letter to me is the first thing I look at is how much is the stock down. And the second thing I immediately look for is what is the response from the company and how quickly they respond. And that's all I need to see. This morning, I, when it was down under 14, a buyer at 14, 14.25. And I just said, this is going to get up to $19. There is no question it's going to go $18, $19 a share. It is a buying opportunity. Pre-market, the great Jenny Moore, who's been here almost six years, said the same thing at $14.69. He was getting everyone that was in pre-market. Same with Palmer, who's been here about two or three years. Traders, if you get, this was a wonderful opportunity to actually be done before the market even opened. You didn't. Eat, you only had to take one ticker, and you could have took size, and everyone would have won. But a lot of you don't understand CRL. A lot of you have never traded it before. A lot of you don't even trade FDA stuff. But in here, we try to educate. And HRTX was along at fourteen dollars. New investors were going to come in. The stock was going to get bought up. Now it was not going to gap fill. Don't ever think that. You still need. You're going to get spanked, but you're not going to get spanked seven dollars. Okay, you're going to probably have a two dollar gap between the two because you still need to fix the problem. But if you come out with a response and say, I'm going to address it with the FDA as soon as possible and fix and resolve this problem, you have now brought uh, investor confidence back in your stock. Therefore, the stock is going to buy. You're going to be long. You do not short the stock. You do not we repeat that. You do not short the stock. And if it sells off again, you buy the weakness. Okay, that this is a, what we call a blind trade in awesome calls. Okay, and here's the trade long at 14, 1469, right? And here, and I was aiming for this gap fill right here at 1950. I wanted 18 out of the gate, and then I wanted to get that 1950. And when it hit this morning, right here at this 18, right, right there, I told traders I see the full gap fill right here to 1950, and it actually hit 20, just under 20. So you in the room could have bought 100 shares if you understood the trade 
Bought at 15, sold at 19, sold at 20, and made $500 today. One trade. And you could have done it in one hour. If you bought 250 shares, you would have made $1,250 today on one trade. Hats off to hum Humble Trading. Humble, uh, he went in there and just killed it over $1,100. This was a big win for the room today because we understood it. I understood it. The mods understood it. When you understand the why, I keep teaching it every day to all of you. You understand the why behind the move, you will make a ton of money day trading. I'm going to give you another one. I'm going to give you another one. Look at this one. This was another blind trade. And a blind trade is just simply, okay, I want you to take a blanket. I want you to take a blindfold. I want you to take a bag. I want you to take dark glasses. And I want you to cover your entire head so you cannot see. And just have a buy button. That's all I want you to do. Okay? All I want you to do. I don't want you to do anything else. Just have a thing that says buy. Click. You don't even need to. You don't even need to care. You don't have to think. You just execute. Right. One of the things we do really great in here is called offerings. Offerings. Now, a stock has been selling around what sixty nine, seventy dollars a share. You wake up and the stock's at sixty three, sixty four. Why? Ask yourself the why. Why is it down? The why tells you because, well, let's take a look at the headline, right? So you go to your scan, and again, your TI scans are never going to tell you the why. It just shows you a gap, um, a gap down. These are the gap downs. Great, there's 100 of them. Great, can you tell me why? No. Does TI tell you why? No. I just, I'm just showing you these are the gap downs. You're showing me what? <laughs> what are you showing me? <laughs> that it's gapping down? Great. Your service really, it's, it's wonderful, but it doesn't tell me why. The why is the critical. So let's find out the why, right? R-G-E-N. Why? Okay, well, we get up in the morning, May 1st, gapping down, and there it is. All right? And there's the news. J.P. Morgan, price is 2 million shares, 2.7, at $64. So you're gapping down almost 5 or $6 on the stock. So. What I always like to do is I always like to buy the stock 50 cents to $1 underneath the offering price. Therefore, it guarantees me a nice pop for about $1 to $2. I know I'm going to recover to 65. That's already given. But if I can get 63.50, 64, in pre-market on Twitter, I told you, all for free. Be looking to buy the 64. If it dips to 63, I got in at 63.50 live in chat. First thing I did Said I'm long, 63.50. Any dip to 63, I'm going to add. The stock is going to get filled quick and recover. This is what you call a blind trade. You don't have to think. You need to make $1,000 today, and you have the buying power. You buy $64,000 worth of stock, and you will make $1,000. I can assure you. I can guarantee you. All right, you ready? Here we go. So all I said was buy the stock at 63, 64, and now the stock is 66. Within the first 30 minutes, the stock hit $65.48. If you had listened to me and bought 1,000 shares, 1,000 shares or 500 shares, you would have made over $1,000 or $2,000, depending on how many you bought. It is the easiest form of day trading to make money in the world. This is almost a silver platter thrown in your face telling you, do you want to make money today or do you want to go fuck up? It's up to you. Do you want to find a way to make only 50 bucks today? Okay. Do you want to make only 100 or 300? Do you want to trade 90 other trades? Fine, go. But I'm guaranteeing you a solid trade because I already know where the stock is going and you're buying the stock on a discount just like you did on HRTX. All right, here's another one we did today. This was our number two pick. Okay, it's all in the headline. This was the most ridiculous small cap crap stock I've ever seen on a headline. My call today was short the stock and take it to eight and a quarter. A number two. I could not have spelled stupid more times than this stock. Stupid, 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 stupid. 
short at nine, short the opening, short the pop, short the pre-market, any pop, and take it to eight and a quarter and under. That is the trade. No ands, ifs, or buts. Why? Why now? I have to always give you the why. Why? You come over here, the why. You punch up fun. Why? Right? Enter strategic partnership with Data World. That's great. All right. So you see this headline? We're suggesting we're going to do a strategic partnership of deployment in multi screen of service, platform and knowledge graph. Da -da -da. The company's data world. You see how it's just talking about it? Talking. You're talking. You're talking. You're talking. You're talking. You know what this is called? Bullshit. <laughs> I want to know the terms of your agreement. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to give you those. Then fuck you. I'm going to short your stock. You don't want to tell me what it is? This could just. This is just all bullshit. It's all noise to get people to buy into the stock. That's all it is. To a short seller like me, dump the stock. Until you give me the terms of the agreement, I am not going to buy your fucking stock. And you know why it gets bought up? Because sheep. See that? This is sheep. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. These are sheeps in cheap ass rooms that don't know how to trade. A professional day trader looks at that and just laughs. Uh, take that to eight and a quarter. I'm sorry, what is it? Eight dollars and twenty two cents. Didn't I say eight and a quarter and under? I think that's what I said. I could do this shit in my sleep, traders. Let me give you another one. ENPH. You ever seen this one before? Right, this is an earnings play that we did in our room. All right, this this stock usually tr hovers around ten dollars a share, but last night earnings came out and these people blew out with upside guidance. When you have a significant upside guidance, you're going to get a nice play into the stock. You're going to get a really nice upside move because what you're telling investors on upside guidance, depending on how it's written, is that you're going to actually make a lot more money than you predicted you were going to make in the previous quarter. Investors love that. Analysts love that, and they'll bring more value to your company. And since First Solar's been on a run lately because of the great Goldman Sachs trying to push it, hey, what can you do? EMPH is a solar company. It's just going to move, and it, it did really, really. It's an energy company, actually, but they use a lot of solar. So this stock was an upside. So I told everyone to buy the stock in pre-market around $11.80 or $12. I said the stock would hit. You're not going to believe this because you probably won't because your room didn't trade it. So, um, And I really emphasize in our room when I see something that's really significant to push the stock. I said, in my opinion, even though this is gapping up, the stock will go settle around $12.75 to $13.25. I want you to think about that for a second. I'm telling everyone in the room where the stock is going to go before it goes out. Imagine that. Imagine that for a second, being in a chat room where that individual is telling you exactly step by step where that stock's going to go and why. Okay? So if you look at it, 1325, come over here. You go along this open, add on dips if it comes, and guess where the stock hit? $13.20. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to show you another one. Lumber liquidators. This was a swing play that I gave on the 18th. On the 18th. Okay, so I'm going to show you the stock from about 20 days ago. Right here. I told everyone in the chat room that I would be swinging. These are my kind of my swing ideas that I love to give. All right, so what I did is um, this stock at around, I think it was $11.80. I read a report that Whitney Tilson, who's a famous short seller, okay, is going to start instead of shorting the stock. Now he shorted this from over hundred dollars a share and took it down to ten bucks. Okay, it's kind of like the Citron on the VRX where he took it from two forty and took it down to twenty bucks. All right, that's what Whitney did to, to lumber liquidators. He called a short at around one hundred ten dollars a share two years, three years ago, and the stock came all the way down to ten bucks, eight bucks. So this was his moment to shine. Well, he made a decision on the 18th. He was no longer going to call a short on it. He was a buyer for his new firm. You don't believe me? Just put up Lumber Liquidators. 
Okay. Go on the 18th. See it right here? Right there. I'm a buyer. That is new company. Now, I'm a seasoned trader. I'm a day trader. I'm a seasoned trader 16 years. I know who Whitney Telson is. So the minute I saw that, and he said, this is a buy to 14 a share. So I knew the stock was going to have a nice significant move. You could buy a, you can buy $14 contracts. You could buy, and I even said that day, buy 14 and $15 contracts. And it's just a matter of time before analysts will come out. And today, two analysts came out this morning, Raymond James on a strong buy, Stifle, and Citibank. So we found this on the 18th. This morning, we got three analysts that came out and like what Whitney was saying, okay? Even though their earnings weren't that great, it didn't matter, all right? So Whitney put a $14 price target, and look what happened 10 days later, $14.44. That's a swing trade. You could have bought 2,000 shares in your retirement account, waited for it, been patient, hit 14, sell it, have a sell order, made five or $6,000 for the week. 10 days. Not that hard. And you didn't have to day trade. That's what swing trading's about. Now, could I got, did, did I get 18 points? No. But it's my job to find trades like this for a lot of retired people that want to make good money in their retirement and just put it in a corner. I mean, you could have a, a small account and put 500 shares in and just wait for 14. And you could have made $1,200 on the side. Okay. I want to show you another one real quick, a BO. Now, this is all B trades, all right? This is, I got to give props where they're due. B trades, B trades, B trades. Now, this has been just a, this had news on it. And this morning, B, B was in the room, and he played it off the unhalt right here. And he called around the $6 area in the room. He pinpointed to go to $8.87. He first, he gave the levels, and I'll show you on Twitter. Um, he actually shows you how he plays it in the room with us. And he does he does exactly what he says that he does on the chart. I'll show you what he did. Okay? B trades. I'll show you exactly what, how he calls it out in the room. He does it live in the room. Okay? So here's the call on a BO. And see how he put um, he targets 792, 875, 9, and then 1140. And that's what he does in the room. He's one of our top small cap traders he's not a pumper by any means he just has a talent of finding this and if if, if a guy like me <laughs> if i like it the stocks are going to shoot higher and i did it actually a live trade in here um i actually lost initially because stupid me chased it at nine and i lost uh you know quite a bit of money but when i got back from my break um I, all i heard was dark side on the mic saying a bo and then i saw a uh, uh, that I got this uh, on Twitter where I saw B trades announced it was three elevens, so I thought, well, I better get back and get another opportunity, and I nailed it, perfect. I mean, I netted two hundred and twelve dollars positive on the stock, and I actually told traders where it was going to stop and where it's going to come down. The stock has collapsed since. It was a great trade live, um, but gotta give credit where it's due, and you could see how it was charted out. He did this all live. And it was just a magnificent trade. So shout out to the great B trades on a BO. Took it from 6 to 12. Okay. And let's do one more trade in here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do one that we all made quick money on. Um, SJ Lighter Lauder was a good short. Uh, Grum is coming off the bottom. Apple was okay. MGPE didn't work. TNDM was a short, but I didn't. I'm not using that TNDM because it came down 12 points, and I don't think it's fair because I thought it'd come down six. But I want to show you a, a really quick trade that we did. Um, it was on um, PCRX. It's not right now. It's kind of up right now, in my opinion. I think it's playing into earnings. I didn't realize earnings was tomorrow. But um, PR, PCRX was a quick play this morning if you did this correct. 
All right. I thought that it would sell off more, but the way we set this up this morning was amazing. This was up because you can see this earnings is tonight. So this was up significant because um, HRTX failed on they had a CRL letter. And usually when I see a company um, opposite go up because of somebody else's um, demise or you know something that didn't go, I'm usually a short seller on the other side. And I figured that PCRX would probably pop to 46 at the open and we can get a quick short on it. And I really wanted to break it and fade. But um, it worked to perfection until it didn't snap the 44. And it really gave us plenty of opportunity. You could see that I kept telling the traders in the room, if you're short, if it doesn't break and it holds, I would probably get out and cover your position. There was a lot of traders that made quick money. I believe Liana and a few others just did it perfectly. Now, I had this to squeeze at the open to $46. So and it was sitting at $45.50. And you could see it was gapping up you know, significant. So I told the traders, look, watch for the pop to 46 at the open, scale in short, and just take it down. I traded this myself live in the room, and I banked. And once it hit this 44, I got out. There was no reason. I did try it again one more time up here, but I put my stops um, at 46.50. So it didn't, it didn't break. I think if earnings don't come out good, this should just come right back and fill this gap up. Um, so I think what people are doing are they're just holding in the earnings. But initially... Uh, the setup was just perfect on the how I read it, and I'll show it to you right here. It was item number um, uh, PCR, so number four. Getting hit on the on the CR letter, um, I would nibble short at 46 level. If it pops to 48, don't let it worry. I wanted to come back down to 42. I got kind of aggressive, um, but the stock came to 44, so it was just a nice two point trade. And I'll show you that. It was actually two and a half, if, depending on your entry. But the bell rang, and here's the opening bell right here. Ding, 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 ding. And here's 46. So if you had it at 46 and you added up here, it was 46.80.75. If your average would have been 46.36, look at the pull. It was magical in just a few minutes. A 44 bottom. I really like that trade. Um, the only thing is, for me, um, I went back in it thinking it would probably break again, but. 44 was the level, and it just didn't bust through. So I ended up probably probably flat on the trade if I really look at the numbers uh, with commissions and everything. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I got greedy. <laughs> I don't normally go back in a trade. So anyway, so those are the seven that I wanted to highlight today. Um, we're in earnings season, as I always say. So lots going on, and it was fun. Uh, like I said, for what didn't work, there were so many trades that worked. And congratulations to Apple holders through earnings. Um, and they announced a buyback on that, and uh, the stock just ran all day today. I had the stock at least to sell off a little bit at the opening. I looked good for a moment uh, on the short, but um, it just didn't come down and break enough. It just, you know, when these stocks hold certain positions, you know, like, like I'll show you, I'll show you on a chart basis. When they hold, um, when they hold these certain positions, I'll show you. I'll show you. Let me go right here. Okay. You see how, like, you got a, you're holding here? Okay, look at Apple. It's the same chart pattern. See how you blow this? This is PCRX. This is Apple. You see how Apple holds a, tr a, a trend? They won't break through. The market makers won't let it come down. You see it's the same thing here at PCRX. When you get that, you got to cover or start nibbling long or start trimming your position if you're shorting. Because it, the market makers are giving you plenty of time to get out of your short position. Because we wanted to short this at the open and pre-market from 212, and we were trying to take it down to 205, 206, and then go long. Uh, but it just didn't bust through enough, so it gave traders a plenty of opportunity to get out of the trade um, and to just take it long, and just like PCRX. Okay. So, all right, that's it. That's our webinar today. It wasn't too too long. Let me see how long it took. Uh, for me, uh, 24 minutes. So this was fast. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, every morning I get up. Uh, this morning I was, I was, I had so much energy and so much love. I was so happy. There were a lot of opportunities and a lot of cheap stocks to make money on, and I was really, really happy with my list. Um, I think the sell-offs were a little overdone, a little bit on TND, DM, and TWL just 
wow, I played that three or four times. I had that shorted at, I think, 145, and I said 140. That's stock. And I said 140 and under that thing with the 130. Uh, but we did bounce it in the room. It was fun. Because uh, once the stock starts pulling, well, there's no reason for us to get in it. We just wait, 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 wait. And that's what we did. So, And um, I don't know. I had a lot of fun. So I look forward to doing it tomorrow. Thank you again. Uh, awesome calls trading. Just click here. Become a member. 25 for a day. Dollar for a week. And look out for the recaps uh, tonight. It, it, on my Twitter feed, I get just hundreds of reviews a day. And I love it. I love the energy um, in the room. And... Uh, um, oh, Christian got my, uh, thank you. Um, I love my retweets. Um, and, uh, you know, I just love it. Now look tonight. Um, we have a few traders that come out with their P&Ls. Uh, Alex came out with his this morning. Uh, he made over 6,000 swing trading. Um, Ali's going to be coming out with his today for his monthly, on uh, what he accomplished. I think he made 17, 16, 1700 on $500 a small account. Noel, uh, Zoom Zoom, um, he did really good for the month. Uh, he tracks everything, and this month he did, um, and he gives you a, his thing, $6,500. And he traded part-time in the room because he can't trade because he works full-time somewhere. Uh, so April was really tough for him. And today he came in, and I think he made over 1000 bucks today or something like that. So he's already off a, an incredible month. He's made over $26,000. He's jotted everything down. And uh, he doesn't come in here for home runs. He just comes in here, and he, if he understands it, he takes more size, and he plays, and he makes his money. So he's a terrific trader and a great, and he joined us 65 days ago. So it just shows you you can make money in this business. And anybody that clicks on his link and joins on a monthly, I will give you my personal one-on-one -on -one, uh, for free just because uh, what he accomplished in the month of April. So... Um, just a little food for thought. I don't know what I'm going to do yet for uh, uh, Ollie's yet, so but wanted to do that. Okay, so anyway, uh, be good, enjoy, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, take care. God bless.